Naruto anime episode 249. It was so emotional. The part with Naruto as a baby, his father and his mother talking to him, telling them just everything, everything you would hear from your own parents. It's just, it just hit right, it just hit me. Like, it just, and I remember watching it, reading it in the manga, and that, that made me, cr that made me teary. But when I watched it in the anime, with all the, with the actual dramatic music in the background, man, that just hit home. I was crying. It took me a while before I actually stopped, and, you know, cleaned myself up before I started this review, so. <sighs> yeah. Just, just sad, and just amazing. But, you know, I also have another, I also have some other things I wanted to talk about. Other than that, the emotional part, um, when Minato was fighting Toby, um, he was talking about how Toby's teleportation technique surpasses his and the second Hokage's teleportation techniques. And um, I never saw that in the manga. It was part of the filler. But I was just wondering, does the second Hokage also have teleportation jutsu? Because he'd be the most badass out of all the Kages. He's a water ninjutsu expert. He can do that uh, genjutsu, the infinite darkness. He can do the reanimation jutsu, or some people, or some people want to call it the Edo Tensei. And now we hear from Minato, he can use teleportation teleportation techniques as well. That to me is just wow. He must be the badass Hokage to be able to do all that stuff. And so, you know, what, 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 what did you think about that when Minato said that? How were your feelings towards uh, the Kushina flashback when it ended? And then at the very end of the Kushina flashback, as she, you know, runs towards Naruto, about to give him a hug. Because Naruto says, even though he was in great pain from the village for being a Jinshuriki, um, he never once really blamed his parents for forcing this upon him. Even though uh, when Naruto met his dad, even though he did kind of say that, he's like, you know, you're my father. Why did you seal the fox within me? Why did you make me live this sort of life? And he gets a response from his father saying that because I know that one day you will be able to bring peace to the ninja world and um, stop Toby and his evil. In which Naruto was understanding as he was listening to his mother and how she told them how they, how her and Minato sacrificed themselves, not just for Naruto, but for the sake of the village also. And that was the reason why he was chosen to be the next Jinchurigi. Reason one, to save the village. Two, because Minato and Kushina believed in Naruto, that he could be the savior, that Jiraiya was... Um, was born to teach and so you know they're all believing him they all trust in him and naruto at the very end he feels the he he says to his mom you know now that i've met you both my vessel as it is always said must be filled with love i'm now filled with the love of you and dad thank you and her mom and his mom goes into the next world with Minato just crying and thanking Naruto for being her son, being Minato's son, and just being there. And then Naruto has uh, just uh, the smile of, of any child who would smile for their parents like that. The smile of love and, and compassion. And that to me just hit home. So let me know what you think about the chapter about the anime episode and also what what you thought about when you read in the manga and i'll see you later bye bye